We're now to so-called sanctuary cities under the microscope. Critics are calling for reform and the call is louder after a woman was killed walking along a San Francisco pier. Suddenly a shot rang out. Kate fell and looked at me and said, help me, Dad. Those are the last words I will ever hear from my daughter. The father of Kate Steinle testified before lawmakers in Washington, D.C. Kate's alleged killer is an undocumented immigrant with seven prior felony convictions. He had been deported back to Mexico five times before, but Jim Steinle says San Francisco's sanctuary policy helped protect the suspect from being deported again. Bills in both the House and Senate are aimed at cracking down on those policies. They would block federal funding from cities that do not turn over immigration or information to the feds. Now, Reno has been labeled a sanctuary city by some organizations. Others do not consider Reno one. The label could be based mistakenly because of a policy within Washoe County's jail. Since last September, the jail stopped holding people in the facility based only on a request by federal law enforcement. The policy is still in place, but it is not based on a philosophical belief by authorities. Cola 8 News Now's Terry Russell joins us to tell us what is behind the policy and how it works. Good afternoon, Sarah. This isn't to say the Washoe County Jail does not work with ICE. It does. It just it's just that ICE or any other law enforcement agency has to have a warrant or other document to legally hold the person at the Washoe County Jail. If you want to see how closely Washoe County's jail works with ICE, take a look at the administrative area inside the jail. Here's where the shift supervisor works. Right next to him, a representative from ICE. When a person is brought in here, he or she is suspected of breaking the law. An officer fills out paperwork so that the inmate faces charges. The only reason why people are sentenced to our facility is under one year. So if you're facing criminal charges or you haven't gone to court or you haven't posted bail, those are the reasons why you're at 911 Par Boulevard in the Washoe County Jail. Before September 2014, the jail would hold suspects here at the request of federal immigration authorities. But that is no longer the case. Those federal authorities must now present a warrant or other documentation for the jail to hold a suspect. It has nothing to do with the jail's stance on immigration. Rather, it has to do with liability and the taxpayers' dollars. Liability for us is, is if obviously, if we hold somebody that doesn't have criminal charges, uh, we can be held liable uh, on a civil matter. McCaskill says whether the person is legally in this country or not, if he is suspected of breaking the law, he will be processed through the court system like all suspects. If found guilty, the person faces deportation if he is in this country illegally. Sheriff's Office says the policy is based on case law and they aren't the only jail in the country following recent court rulings. The policy could change if federal or state courts come up with rulings contrary to what is on the books currently. Sarah? Okay.